Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's Ultimate Showdown, we're pitting the brand new 2025 M4 MacBook Air against the formidable Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12, which ultra portable will reign supreme in 2025. We'll dive deep into all the crucial aspects to help you decide. Make sure to watch till the very end before you make that purchase, because by then, you'll know the clear winner. Be sure to check the description for the latest prices and available deals. And hey, if you enjoy this, a like would help me out a ton. Let's get started. The MacBook Air with its M4 chip continues Apple's tradition of a unibody aluminum chassis, meticulously crafted from a single block. This gives it a distinctively rigid and premium feel in hand, and at a mere 2.7 lbs and 0.44 inches thin, it's certainly easy to slip into a bag. The addition of a sky blue color option alongside the familiar silver, gold, and space black offers a touch of freshness without any extra cost. The hinge operates smoothly through a full 180 degrees, and the screen exhibits minimal wobble, which speaks to the solid construction. While the fanless design ensures silent operation for everyday tasks, the aluminum body itself plays a crucial role in dissipating heat. Meanwhile, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 also delivers a premium experience, crafted from a refined mix of magnesium, aluminum, and carbon fiber. This combination results in a matte black finish that cleverly resists fingerprints. It's even lighter than the MacBook Air at 2.47 lbs and slightly thicker at 0.59 inches. The rounded communications bar is a thoughtful touch, making one-handed opening quite convenient. Lenovo's commitment to MIL STD810H standards suggests a robustness that can withstand more demanding conditions like shocks, vibrations, and temperature extremes, with the chassis showing only minimal flex under pressure. When it comes to ports, the two laptops diverge in their approach. The MacBook Air keeps things streamlined with two Thunderbolt 4, a dedicated MagSafe 3 charging port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack while Thunderbolt 4 offers considerable versatility with 40 gigabyte per second transfer speeds and the ability to connect up to two external displays when closed, or one when open, the absence of an SD card reader or HDMI port might necessitate the use of adapters for certain workflows. In contrast, the ThinkPad offers a more varied selection, including two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, two USB-A 3.2 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. This mix of both modern and legacy ports can be quite convenient, potentially saving users from carrying dongles for common peripherals like projectors or USB drives. However, similar to the MacBook Air, it does not include an SD or microSD card reader in this generation. The MacBook Air features a 13.6-inch liquid retina display, which is an LED panel boasting a resolution of 2560 by 1664 pixels, resulting in a pixel density of 227 ppi. It boasts a peak brightness of up to 500 nits, supports the P3-wide color gamut, and features True Tone technology, which adjusts the color temperature based on ambient lighting conditions. However, it maintains a standard 60 Hz refresh rate, and while the side bezels are slim, the bottom bezel is a bit more noticeable, and the camera notch at the top is present, though it's designed not to interfere with full-screen applications. In contrast, the Lenovo ThinkPad sports a 14-inch OLED panel with a higher resolution of 2880 by 1800 pixels and a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. A significant advantage here is the user-selectable refresh rate, offering both a standard 60 Hz and a smoother 120 Hz option. The OLED technology promises deeply saturated colors and true blacks and it also achieves near 100% coverage of both sRGB and Adobe RGB color gamuts, with a peak brightness exceeding 450 nits. This makes it particularly appealing for creative professionals who prioritize color accuracy and a vibrant visual experience. Shifting to the built-in cameras, the MacBook Air is equipped with a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, featuring center stage technology. This camera benefits from automatic framing and tracking, powered by the 16-core neural engine, aiming to keep users centered in the frame during video calls. The ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 is equipped with a 1080p sensor that includes a sliding privacy shutter for added security. It also incorporates Windows Hello auto framing and background blur features, further enhanced by Lenovo View software, focusing on delivering clear and well-exposed video for conferencing. 
When it comes to the tactile experience of the keyboard and trackpad, the MacBook Air utilizes Apple's Magic Keyboard with a scissor mechanism providing one millimeter of key travel, comfortable spacing, and quiet operation. It offers adjustable backlighting with four levels controlled via Control F5 F6. Security is handled via a Touch ID sensor seamlessly built into the power button. The Force Touch trackpad is a large glass surface known for its haptic feedback, support for multi-touch gestures, and excellent palm rejection. The ThinkPad features a backlit ThinkPad keyboard, maintaining the classic ThinkPad layout with shallow but snappy and quiet typing feel. It includes dedicated home end and page up down keys, along with newly ridged FN, enter, and volume keys for easier tactile identification. A notable feature is the track point nub with three physical buttons and a customizable double tap menu, offering alternative navigation and control options. The trackpad itself is designed for comfortable use, and the relocated control key to the left of Fen is a change that many longtime ThinkPad users appreciate. Finally, let's consider battery life. Apple claims the MacBook Air can achieve up to 18 hours of video playback, and real-world testing suggests it can even exceed this, reaching nearly 20 hours of local 720p video playback at 50% brightness. For more mixed usage involving web browsing, document editing, video calls, and music streaming, it's expected to last around 16 to 18 hours. However, under heavy sustained loads like editing or gaming, the battery life drops to about 5 to 6 hours, which is noted to be around 90 minutes less than the previous M3 Air. The ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12, with its 55-watt-hour battery, achieved a tested battery life of 13 hours and 51 minutes in a 720p video loop test at 50% brightness with Wi-Fi off. While respectable, this is mentioned to be shorter than some of its competitors, and users engaging in more intensive tasks throughout the day might find the need for a midday charge. The MacBook Air is powered by Apple's new M4 system on a chip, featuring a 10-core CPU with a configuration of four performance cores and six efficiency cores, along with either an 8-core or an optional 10-core GPU and a 16-core neural engine. It comes standard with 16 GB of unified memory, which can be upgraded. Benchmarks suggest a notable performance uplift compared to its predecessor, particularly in multi-core tasks, often aligning it with thin Windows Ultra Portables. Optimized Mac OS applications like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Xcode are reported to launch and compile significantly faster. In video editing, the M4 Air shows improvements in tasks like 4K to 1080p transcoding and 4K project exports in Final Cut Pro. For photo editing and applications like Photoshop, it offers responsive performance, especially with more RAM. In the realm of gaming, while macOS has a smaller game library, the M4 Air can handle some titles at playable frame rates at 1080p resolution, though demanding AAA games might require lower settings. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 is equipped with an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor, which features 8 cores and 16 threads, coupled with integrated Intel Arc graphics. While it handles everyday tasks with ease and shows strong multi-core scaling for office and light creative workflows in benchmarks like Cinebench R23 and Geekbench 5.5, it's noted to trail behind high-end competitors in more intensive tasks like 4K to 1080p video transcoding. For content creation, it performs well in tasks like Photoshop, smoothly handling layers and filters, and its high-resolution, color-accurate display is beneficial. However, for heavy video editing or 3D rendering, the integrated graphics are a limitation. In terms of gaming, the Intel Arc graphics can handle less demanding indie and casual games at lower settings, but it's not suitable for AAA titles or esports level gaming, indicating that serious gamers would need to look elsewhere. All right, so we've gone through the nitty gritty of both these fantastic machines. If seamless Mac OS integration, an outstanding keyboard and trackpad combo, and extended battery life for daily use are your main priorities, the M4 MacBook Air stands out as the top pick. With its sleek design and enhanced performance, it's a highly appealing option for a wide range of users.